Directed by Guillermo del Toro in 2013, Pacific Rim sees Earth threatened by an invasion of giant monsters coming from the deep of the Pacific Ocean. To fight them, humanity creates giant robots, the Jagger. But the Enterprise is on the verge of failure, and the only Jagger base left in Hong Kong could see its operation terminated very soon. Raleigh and Maki, two Jagger pilots traumatized by previous Keiju attacks, will join forces to put an end to the giant monster's threat. A real labor of love, Pacific Rim is a good introduction to the world of Keiju Eiga, the giant monster films. Full of good intentions and colors, Del Toro's film unfortunately suffers from many small defects, from an overstuffed frame to one-dimensional characters for it to be a reference of the genre. So if you like to see giant monsters and robots battle it out, you can keep exploring the Keiju genre through the other Asian productions which inspired Pacific Rim. Here is a proposition of several films for you to continue on this track. If the Keiju genre was popularized in Japan, other countries have made their own versions of films based on giant monsters battle. Thus, following the success of Ultraman in the colony, Hong Kong launched Super Inframan on the silver screen in which a young Danny Lee becomes the so-called hero to repel the invasion led by Princess Elzebub. With its colorful monsters, its many dynamic fights and its quick rhythm, Super Inframan is the cinematographic equivalent of a delicious candy, guaranteed to provide a good dose of fun. <laughs> For a vision both more realistic and more ironic of the giant monster genre, go see The Host, directed by Bong Joon-ho, of Parasite's international fame. The film shows the everyday life of a blue-collar Seoul family disrupted by the apparition of a monster in the city. Between ironic social chronicle and classic monster film, Bong Joon-ho's feature is not an easy viewing because of its numerous tonal breaks but it has a strong originality and identity which makes it a unique proposition in the world of giant monster films. In the long series of Godzilla, one of the most memorable creatures is the giant robot Mecha Godzilla. Originally an opponent of the King of the Monsters, he became during the Eisei era a tool for humanity in its struggle against the various Keiju who threatens Japan. To see him in action, you can check Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla 2, directed by Takao Okawara in 1993. In it, a team of scientists bring a Godzilla egg to Kyoto, leading the King of Monsters to wreck a rock in the old Japanese capital. The Japanese Defense Force must deploy Mechagodzilla to face him. With Rodan, the giant pterodactyle also added to the mix, the film delivers more than enough titanic monster battles, all served by quality special effects. If we add some human characters slightly more engaging than the usual one-dimensional ones featured in the saga, Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla 2 ends up as one of the best Godzilla films. The Millennium version, made in 2002, is also a strong recommendation with improved designs for the two titans and extremely spectacular fight scenes. But if Godzilla is considered the king of monsters, it is another giant beast who can claim to be featured in the best trilogy of kaiju films. The name of this monster is Gamera, the Atomic Turtle. Originally a children-friendly film series, it was reinvented with a more mature tone in 1995 thanks to director Shusuke Kaneko and his camera Guardian of the Universe. While still keeping some of the components of the original film series, Kaneko creates much more engaging characters, an intriguing story, and beautiful destruction sequences. Each following episode managed to even raise the bar one level higher quality-wise, making the Gamera trilogy a must-see for any self-respecting kaiju fan.